Yo guys, today I wanna to talk about one of the most worthless detailing chemicals you can buy, hands down. I don't know, I was really excited for it and it just turns out it's useless. So it's not about the brand, it's, it's more about the chemical itself. I got this one specifically, and I'll tell you from Detailing King. Dude, why, what the frick is your problem? Dude, get off my finger. What is this? Dude, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, he like bit me. Quit biting me. He kept freaking nibbling on my finger. Shit was unpleasant. I literally knocked him out and then smashed him. I'm trying to do a video here. That is so bizarre having a freaking bead biting your finger. I didn't even do anything to the guy. Why would it just bite me? What was going on with that thing? What was going through its head? Like, what was it thinking? Going up against me, a human apex predator. What an idiot. Dude's messing with the alpha, like, come on, what do you expect? Ow! We had the one bucket. Ridiculous and rude, might I say. Anyway, Spill Defender, it's pretty good at doing nothing. Basically what this is, it's a floral chemical, or floral chemical carpet protection. It's like a layer that's supposed to sit on top of your carpet and when you spill water or liquids on your carpet, it's supposed to keep them pooled so you can wipe them up really quick before they seep into the carpet fibers and cause a bunch of staining and other things like that. So that's the idea behind these carpet protectors is they're supposed to make your carpets more resilient to spills. You know, you apply it exactly how it says. So you clean the carpet mat and then you apply like a pretty thick layer and just let it dry essentially. And then what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to make it so that something that I found out is that any one that's floral carb, floral chemical based is essentially useless. This is just a chemical thing and it's something that's sold pretty frequently. It doesn't do anything that it says it does and it is really hot out here. Basically it says you can apply to upholstery or carpet that has been wet cleaned and you spray evenly and bam, it should be just protected. Now the thing is, is you would expect this to cause beating on the carpet surface. It doesn't do that. So I just wanted to show you guys that it's useless and also there's two different types. There's one that actually works and one that doesn't. The one that's cheaper and it'll be a, under $100 per gallon is gonna be your fluorochemical one. The one that is oil-based fluorochemical, that's gonna be the one that you wanna get and that one's actually going to work, but it comes at a lot much higher comes at a much higher price tag. I believe CarPro has one. They call it their, like, it's like C-Quartz fabric or something. That stuff actually works, the 2.0. Don't waste your money on this chemical. I bought a whole freaking gallon. Really excited to offer this as like a protective fabric coating and uh, it doesn't protect Jack Diddley, so I can't really do anything with it. I don't even want to use it myself. There's no point. I'm just gonna apply it and show you guys that. I've already said it like 14 times. Let me just do it. Applied a pretty good amount there, ouch. Maybe around five, six ounces of it. Just because I wanna show you guys that it actually doesn't work. And basically now I just have to wait for it to dry and that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna leave it in the sun to dry. Um, that's not really that great of an idea. I'm just gonna let it dry inside my garage for a little bit, a few hours, and we'll come back and I'll show you that it absolutely does nothing. In general, I wouldn't really recommend spill defenders just because they're one, they're way too pricey to get actually a good. Oh my God! And two, you use your freaking carpet floor mat, all of that protection is just gonna come right off. I don't care what you say. It's the same thing with floor mats with the plastic protectant. You put your feet on that for 10 seconds, all of that protection just runs right off because you literally rub it off physically. That's exactly what happens. And this would be no different. This is even a passenger seat one for me. So it's a carpet floor mat I don't use very often. And so, you know, you'll see it doesn't work as well. Even best case scenario. Most of the time I would just avoid these kinds of chemicals for carpets and uh, floor mats because they aren't really that useful. They don't really add any visual appeal to the final product. You know, you can always get stains out with 
you know, a drill brush and an extractor. There's a few stains you probably couldn't, like maybe paint or dye might be a little tough, but I'm sure there's ways. We have ways. One bucket army. We got them. Oh my God, another guy? Yo, no way, man. Not today. I'm sick of that. I'm not getting bit by another freaking bee. Get away from me, boy. My apartment's making me pay for bug control or pest control, they call it. I haven't done shit for pests. I get so many bugs in my apartment, it's ridiculous. I had to bring my own barrier. Rent's out of control, man. Charging me an extra 100 bucks a month now, and also they got a move out fee. Like, what the f is that? F you. Sorry, I just had to vent a little bit. But uh, in general, not a great product. Just any type of the fabric protectants just really aren't usually worth it. Also, the type of fiber you're applying the protectant to matters. So if you apply it to like a cloth seat, it's gonna be different than if you apply it to a floor mat where you have like really fine grain fibers. There's tons of different types of floor mats, so maybe it'll work better for you. But uh, I haven't had any success with this stuff and my whole car is carpeted like this. So I'm gonna throw this inside to dry now. I really do wanna show you guys that this is a complete waste of money, this product. And don't hate on these guys specifically. It's a product that you can buy at many companies. It's just under a different name, label, whatever. It's the same product though. But like I said, if you find one that's like this CarPro C Quartz, uh, fiber, whatever it's called, that stuff's gonna be the only one that'll actually work. Not that specific brand CarPro, but that uh, chemical makeup. And you can see the price tag is a lot more expensive for just a gallon, which, uh, yeah, at that point, it's just not even worth buying unless, you know, you're, you really wanna just take care of your own car. I wouldn't recommend using it. It's not gonna add much value. I mean, I'm not a very spill prone person. I don't drink a lot of coffee or brown liquids. I'd usually just drink water. So even if I did spill, not like I give a crap. Putting this to the test, guys. I'll see you guys in a bit. It says to basically just spray on a heavy layer, which I did. And then, um, well, actually, <laughs> it says to clean the carpet and then spray on a heavy layer of it and just lightly agitate it so that you lightly brush it. Probably just to help the work the spill defender down a little bit. So maybe that'll help a little bit, but I don't know. Gosh, this thing's disgusting. You can see on Amazon, there's a guy who really likes it. So maybe it's just the carpet I have or where I've tested it, but it hasn't worked for me. Perhaps it works better on these the cloth seats, but when this stuff dries, it leaves like a weird stickiness on the fabric that I wasn't really a fan of when I did try this before. I kinda wanna just show that to you guys as well. So I don't know if I'd like that feeling on a, on a seat, to be honest, because I don't know, just probably wouldn't feel that great. Okay guys, I'm back. It's been about 10 hours and we're just gonna check out these floor mats now. So as you can see, oh my gosh, that feels crazy. Do you guys see this? I'm just kidding guys. I'll wait till the morning, I think that's probably better. One thing I do wanna mention for you guys, just to be clear, is I did email their support and I ended up getting contacted or getting hit up by one of their chemists basically. I wish I still had the email, this was like a year ago, but he informed me that basically you aren't supposed to get um, water pooling or anything like that with the fluorochemical spill protector. Um, and I was kind of like shocked because that's what it, the spill defender is basically supposed to do. I don't know, it might just make it easier to get stains out once if you do get them, but uh, it's not gonna pull anything, so don't don't think that. And also, it might work better on cloth seats. I didn't test that, I didn't have any to test it on, but I could see it working with the really tightly knit fibers, but it probably wouldn't last very long. Yeah guys, so it's officially the next day. It's been over like 20-ish hours, and the stuff has had plenty of time to dry. You can see the mat looks pretty fresh. You know, it's not really sticky like I experienced before, but if I do like push in a little bit, I kind of feel it a little bit. So there still is some of that. So usually when you spill, it's not with a spray bottle. So I'm not just gonna spritz water on it. Usually when you spill, you know, it's out of a cup or a water bottle, something like that. Um, 
Maybe you got some nachos that you're eating. I'm gonna try and do like a light spill and just show you that it literally won't do anything for it. It doesn't even wick it for like a second. Here we go. You see that? Just does absolutely nothing. So I'm in the middle of editing this video with the day of its due. Uh, I keep doing this and got a lot going on, but uh, don't waste your time getting spill defender or any kind of thing like that. They're all pretty much the same. Like I'm not sure if I'm just getting bad batches with some of this stuff, but with the tar remover, I got the same issue. So not really sure what to do, but uh, yeah, that's a waste of a hundred bucks right there for anybody getting that. It's easier to just honestly take a drill brush and just go ham at it if you get a little bit of stain going on. So I've been liking the uh, testing videos lately. I've, uh, I feel like they're kind of fun. It's hard to always think of good content for you guys. So I'll try my best here. And uh, you know, lately I've been let down a few times by detailing products. This one I've had for a while, but I just never made a video on it for some reason. Probably because it was useless and I didn't really think about it. But uh, yeah, I got some other videos coming out that you'll kind of see some similar patterns here. One bucket army.